how that feel? How that feel? That was good. Yeah. You should. This, because you have to lock your spine, otherwise this happens. Yeah. <laughs> so doing a bicep curl, doing bench pressing, doing rowing, tightens your neck, right? Because you wouldn't be able to do. You wouldn't be a very running tightens your spine because you don't run like Baywatch. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs>
Deep breath in. Head back. Exhale. Got way too rigid. There's about 12 bones that I tried to move in there. Uh -huh. Out of the 12 bones, I got maybe four okay. to move. Yeah. So you got a 12-cylinder Lamborghini engine. You're only running on four cylinders. Yeah. So you're going to have mechanical imbalances. If a chiropractor adjusted it like that and said, oh, that feels great, <laughs> yeah. the expectations are too low. Yeah. I want a lot more. You're weight to 33? I, I'm 36. I expect a lot from your back. Yeah. If you were 83, that was excellent adjustment. Right. 33. I don't yeah. give you a pass rating. Okay. All right. Put the back of your head in that little slit. So you turn your head towards me oh, a little yeah. bit. There we go. That little hold you. Take a deep breath in. There we go. Exhale. Exhale. Twist. Twist. All right. Breathe in deep. Exhale and twist. How's that for me? Other side. Okay. Running makes this SI joints all stiff. But okay. I'm not a big fan of running. I think a better way to exercise is elliptical. Yeah. I know it's boring. Got to put TV and Netflix. Yeah. I'm just saying. Impact, I want to, if I, I don't want to like something and then be told that I can't do it forever. I'd right. rather not do it at all. Yeah, yeah. Right? Well, I love running. I don't, running's my passion. It's just expensive. Do you understand? It's an expensive hobby. If you want to run, I'll help you run. If that's your passion, I'll help you do it. But you have to come in more often. That makes sense? Yeah. I can teach you swimming, elliptical, yoga. Yeah. There are things that are cheaper. Rowing is expensive. I'm a oh. swimmer. I'm waiting for my pool to get built. Excellent. I'm saying <laughs> yeah, there's expensive things you. and there's less expensive things. Yeah. And I'm a runner. Shoes on concrete or yeah. barefoot on the beach? Well, right. typically when someone says they run, I'm expecting shoes on concrete, yeah. not barefoot yeah, on the is. beach. Right. Which is, I'll talk to you, you know, it's a little less stressful on your back. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. I got you. Yeah, wow, you're really limited this way. Wow. Deep breath in. Come on, I got you. Bring your shoulder back a little. Wow, there we go. All right, face up. Wow, real tight that way. Ooh. Face up, I know, yeah. yeah. Face up. Headaches are something of a speciality of mine. I, it has to do with an overlap of the nerves. So we call the spinothalamic tract. Yeah. We have nerves that come out of your upper neck into your spinal cord and they overlap with the nerves that go to your brain okay. called the trigeminal thalamic tract. And that's what causes headache is you have two electrical cables and when electricity comes down one cable, some of that electricity jumps to the other cable. That's why we get, because the, the sensation of your face is actually cranial nerve five, trigeminal nerve. How does the facial nerve, how is that affected by your upper neck? It's because of the tracks in the spinal cord and electrical overlap so the pain tract in the upper neck is called the spinothalamic tract. That overlaps with the trigeminal thalamic tract, causing headaches. So you can't have any soreness up here. If you touch this area, how, how tender? Yeah. It's yeah, we, wanna, we need to get rid of all the tenderness up yep. here. So the joint mobility keeps the tissue clean. If the joint was moving properly, it, the tissue wouldn't be tender. Having the head forward makes the upper neck stiff which then creates a congestion, okay? okay? So just the adjustment by itself is sil a silly way to treat this. Does that make sense? Because yep. it's only a temporary, be like having a guy paid to water your lawn manually one day and expecting your lawn to be happy. Does Got that make it. sense? Yep. That doesn't set you up for a long-term success. Well, Ed, after a few days, my lawn got all dried out again. What a, what a joke. Does that make sense? Right, right. Okay, we have to install an irrigation system. You can't not have, you cannot be depending on somebody to manually come to your house every day and walk around with a hose and water the whole lawn. Right. It's nonsense. That's an adjustment. We have to get the alignment fixed. Your alignment creates the tension and creates the stiffness, which clogs the mobility. Does that make sense? Creates an okay. environment where you have inflammation up here. So the adjustment is a tool that I use to speed up the process of, a be of giving you the ability to stretch. Okay. If your ear was over your shoulder, I'd be confused. Okay? If, yep. if your upper neck was not tender, I would be confused. Right. Taking an x-ray when we have MRIs, I don't fully... If we want to see stuff, does that make sense? Uh -huh. We need to take a magnetic resonance imaging. It see allows us to see the soft tissue with, with any level of detail compared to an x-ray. Okay. Um, and the idea would be to have it weight-bearing. X-ray is mainly for looking at alignment, if there's anything dislocated. Does that make sense? Yep. Um, I, I, we're not going to see any soft tissue 
ability to see the soft tissue on x-ray. Okay. So I don't, that's why when I was talking to you on the phone, I was like, well, I don't know how an x-ray is going to change yeah. what we're doing. If an MRI is ordered. That's what we're trying. Yeah. My wife was, mis okay. yeah, she, she didn't, wasn't uh, speaking correctly there. We are, I'm trying to get an MRI. Ordered. Okay. Yeah. Make sure it's a weight bearing. We okay. Want, if you can, Got it. they take these laying down MRIs. I'm oh, sorry. And I go, there's no weight on the spine. And that doesn't look that bad. Yeah. It's like a car with a flat tire and lifting the car in the air. You gotta have weight on the car. Okay. Make the adjustment. Here we go. Keeping the chin up. There you go. There you go. You okay? Yep. All right. So we're not trying to, you know, the, unfortunately, when they teach in school how to do the neck, I'm not going to adjust you. Okay? okay. They teach, and I'm not sure if this is how you've been adjusted. They teach a flexing the chin and then rotating, and then I adjust you like that. Yep. And it's very unfortunate because, and I'm not sure, is that how you've been adjusted? It was. Okay. Yeah. It's a very unfortunate. They they teach it like that because it's when you're a young chiropractor, they're trying to build confidence. You understand in in adjusting a bone, and you get in bad habits of learning to adjust the easiest way possible. How do I get a click? Because we glorify the click. My goal is to not see how many clicks I can get out of your back. Mm -hmm. And if we're flexing you, remember how the, there's supposed to be a curve in your neck this yep. way. So why would I want to adjust you with your chin down, right. right, and then rotating you? It's a very poor way to adjust the neck. If you notice, I'm not going to adjust you, but I'm just going to okay. show you in slow motion. When I adjusted you, I had your chin up. Yep. And I came in like that yep. to keep your, and I did not have you flexed and then rotated. The word adjustment is as broad as the word restaurant. Got Does that it. make sense? Yeah, it makes well, sense. I went to a restaurant, I got food poisoning yet. I'm scared to go back to another restaurant. It's like, well, hold your head, I got you. Here we go, here we go, okay. So we're just trying to target the atlas, okay? okay. If your atlas was uh, moving properly, there shouldn't be all this soreness up here. Now, to some degree, going in here and moving this does stir things up. Don't let that dishearten you. Okay. Um, my in-laws have cats and dogs, and about 15 minutes before I get there, I'm allergic, they try to vacuum. And by them vacuuming 15 minutes before I get there, I'm now sneezing my head off when I walk in the door. Yeah. <laughs> and they say to me, well, Ed, we tried to vacuum and help tidy up. I'm going, well, you stirred it all up off the ground. Right, right. <laughs> if you hadn't vacuumed, it'd be still on the floor and I wouldn't be breathing it in. But the very fact that you vacuumed does that make sense? Stirred Makes everything sense. up. Well, you made it worse by vacuuming, but I thought vacuuming reduces the amount of hair in the carpet. Yeah, but you get the idea. It's a little. So when you go in here and start working on things, you are cleaning, but you are stirring things up a little bit. Okay. It's like a closet. You're, you know, maybe or an attic, let's say, and you start moving boxes to tidy up an attic, right? But then you get bit by a spider. Well, I'm never going up there to tidy up my attic ever again. Or, yeah. Well, <laughs> there's spiders up there. <laughs> You know, and you have to be you have to be aware that there are things in here that are trapped, that but they need to be reconciled. They need to be dealt with. You can't leave the spiders up there. If right. your neck was here, you wouldn't have a headache. It would, there'd be a lot less tension in your neck. Uh -huh. um, based on how mechanical your pain is, this leads me to even more confidence that I can help you. Does that make That's sense? That's great. Yeah. Ed, I was fine. I lifted something. I felt a pop. Yeah. I get headaches afterwards. They're intermittent. They come. You know, I had it in the past. Uh -huh. this, is, this sounds mechanical. If it was something scary, do you understand? Yeah. I'm not going to say the words, but if yeah. it was something scary, it would not sound like that. Right. It would sound like, Ed, it's been, nothing makes it better. Nothing makes it worse. It's constant. I've had it for five, you know, does that make sense? Yeah. It wouldn't have a mechanical sense of like, well, it, it comes and goes. Um, and so, imaging to me, a lot of the times is to look for those scary things. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tumors and you know, right, and, uh, right, aneurysm, right. blood clots, yeah. and you know the things that. Well, Doctor Ed, I don't think you could help me because actually it's something scary. Yep. Um, and I need to go to the hospital. And another thing that leads me to under let, give me confidence is how mechanical. Ed, I, I touch the area. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> it's sore, right. Ed. Right. The actual tissue is sore. The tracts that I was talking about earlier cause those headaches. Okay. These the nerves that tell your brain that this is sore, call that the spinothalamic tract, um, and that overlaps with that pain tract that goes to your face, so that's what's the cause of what the referral pain to your face is. Got it. Oh, there, feel that? Yep. Yeah, we gotta. And by, like I said earlier, by stirring this up, you know, maybe get some Epsom salt or ice on this when you okay. get home. Okay. I would take an ice cube, not a bag of peas, not a bag of ice, uh -huh. <laughs> take an ice cube and just do a circular massage right in your upper neck here. Okay. Uh, one time, maybe each side, about 10 minutes, get it numb. 
maybe some Epsom salt, like a compress, get some water, some Epsom salt, put it on your upper neck, and then take a damp towel okay. and hold that on your upper neck. We're trying to get the soreness as quick as we can out of here. We don't feel areas that don't move. They just get congested and inflamed. So by me adjusting it, we are opening up the area and shining a flashlight on it, and that can make you feel it, like I said earlier, and don't be disheartened by that, but we have to get this tissue clean. Get rid of the lactic acid, anything that's sore in here that causes pain. Do you have a headache right now? <laughs> uh, no, luckily not. I uh, typically get them at night, but then they've started to, to come in like the late afternoons too. Yeah, that's called that's typical with tension. You know, yeah. So the posture builds up that because your head's forward. Uh -huh. As the day progresses, the area fills up with more lactic acid, and then it overflows at nighttime. Your body's trying to heal. Yeah. In a sense, it's more common with what we call tension. Sit headaches. at the desk. I, I'm on the phone right. a lot. Yeah. Right. right. We want to. We need to start teaching you how to counter stretch, so that the tension has a, you know, can get out of there and vent. Okay. All right. Get a little bit more. I got your head. Let me have your head. I got you. There you go. All right. How that feel? How that feel? That was good. Yeah. It should feel good. It should. Yep. Should not. Shouldn't be startling. It shouldn't be scary. Just check and see if I can get a little more. Mm -hmm. There we go. Chin up. There you go. Beautiful. All right. I know. It's, that's, not, that's not how the previous guy adjusted it, me. No, right. definitely not. You know, it's, it's, it's a tough thing. So your alignment that you were in when you were lifting determined where the stress went. Does that make sense? Okay. So yep. this part of your back most likely was not in the right position, and it was already compromised. Then you go and lift something heavy. The weak link is where it breaks. Yeah. This was... And so your body then, it feeds the misalignment. Because you injure this, you then keep leaning away from it. But the leaning away from it destabilizes the joint. The joint's like a handshake. Okay. So if we're shaking hands, we have a lot of power if our hands are overlapping. The more we separate our hands, can you catch the drift right? We, yeah. I can't lift you if I only have just the fingertips gripping onto each other. Okay. So the joints are like that. They have surfaces that overlap on each other. That's based on your alignment. Got it. The more forward you are, the more separated the surface of the joints are, which makes injury easier to happen because you were in a destabilized position to begin with because you sit eight hours a day. Yeah. And no one told you that you're supposed to have a curve in your lower back and <laughs> you need not have a hump in your upper back. So people are set up for injuries. Yeah. Your alignment determined. And then because you injure this area, your body, we call it antalgia. We okay. lean away from the parts that hurt which then makes it more destabilized. Now you get muscle spasms, right? And then everybody gets pretty focused on the tight muscles. We need to go in there and release some of the tight muscles. Well, actually those tight muscles are actually helping to guard the area. Got it. Right? Yeah. They're actually not the problem. The problem's still the posture, right? The alignment's still the problem. Mm -hmm. The muscles are trying to protect the area because there's a ligament and joint instability. I adjusted your back earlier. A third of your back worked. Yeah. Two thirds okay. of your back pretty much stuck its tongue at me. Said, sorry, <laughs> we don't work. We, uh, we stay home and watch prices right. We don't function. <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> right. Well, you're, and it's, right. That's, that shouldn't be looked at and go, oh, yeah, you're fine. I'll see you later. Uh, your adjustment did really well today. Yeah. No, your adjustment didn't do well today. That was not right. Your back is not in the right alignment. The discs in the spine don't have any feeling. If you could feel everything, I might change my tune and say, okay, maybe I can change. How do you feel? How does your C5 disc feel? You can't tell me. There uh -huh. is no feeling in the most valuable structures in your spinal column, the discs. This is why we have a prevalence of disc injury. What you can feel is the rib head. You understand? Yeah. And by you having a rib joint injury, your body will lean away from it, so it'll go away, and okay. it felt better. Yeah. You'll put more weight on the disc. Got it. The disc doesn't have any feeling. And you do that for 10 years, 15 years, wow. and now you have sciatica. So the fact that you are able to injure something in your middle back is actually a good sign. I know it's, really, Ed? I, I'm not very happy I injured my middle back. Because it moves. Yeah. If okay. nothing moved in here, you yeah. wouldn't be able to pop a rib out. Yeah. Right? Okay. So 
you know, take the silver lining. <laughs> Thanks for being an optimist. Uh, yeah. you, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I like the gua sha because it gets the entire tissue. The cupping is great, but get the idea it only gets wherever the cups are, which then you have to then put them on again yeah. in the areas that you're missing, and that's fine. I, I find that if you can tolerate this to be a more effective treatment, it can be a little more intense and you know, it's a little more sore, but I believe it to be a, a more effective treatment if you can handle it. So I, I usually try to work in that type of idea, right? Most effective treatment first, yeah. and I really don't like that, then we go down the list and I have other tools that I can pull out. If, but this, this is the th fastest. Yeah, this doesn't feel bad at all. Yeah, this is the yeah. fastest way to do it. Yeah, then we're, then we're gonna find it all right here. Yeah. Hello. I can feel the gri the gristle in here. Hello. Did your chiropractor do the cupping or did you? Uh no. Uh I, I've been going to a masseuse okay. as well and okay. she did it. Beautiful. Awesome. I'm so happy. A majority of the injury is how it wasn't treated properly and now we have the compensatory pains. Here's the rib injury, right? It's actually right there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. So the mark only comes out where there's a lot of acidity and tightness. This is the tightness that's trying to protect that rib head joint. The alignment has to be changed so that there's no reason for it to be protected. For the most part, your back isn't really coming out. It only comes out, the mark only can come out where there's something internally trapped. Okay. If there's nothing there, there's nothing there. I can't, I can't make a mark come out if there's nothing in the tissue to draw out. It only, you can't, if I'm vacuuming, I only can draw out whatever dirt's in the carpet. Yeah. If, there's no dirt, if there's no dirt in the carpet, there's nothing to draw out. picked it up and twisting is the most difficult thing that, that a disc can handle you're saying they discs are like rubber racers they can if I take a rubber racer from when we were kids does that make sense and throw it out in the street and drive over my car it would yeah. be undamaged but I can take a rubber ra rubber racer and twist it in my hands and rip it in half that's what a disc is like it can handle compressive forces it can't handle shearing forces twisting forces so golf literally you're somewhat bent forward, right? Yep. You're, you're flexed at the waist, which reduces some of your lordosis. I mean, I know you're trying to keep as much as possible, but you're still somewhat bent forward. Right. And now we're rotating, right? Which is, you're compressing the disc, and now you're, you know, rotating on the disc. So it's a very, you know, you better have every part of your back working so that you have an even distribution of the stresses and no one disc is under too much stress. So this is the joint we tried on your side. You were way, you're, lim you're pretty limited in your ability to rotate down here. Right here, get the idea? Mm -hmm. You're way too blocked in here. Yeah, my, my left waist has always been a pretty bad issue too. Oh man. One second, let me see. There you are. Oh wow. I understand that's, that's where that rib is yeah. injured right there. And so this, this tightness in here is gonna cause lower back lower neck and lower back injuries. So we care about those two areas. Let me have you lay on your back here for me. This retains the right alignment, the okay. cervical lordosis. Uh, there's two things that happen. The head goes forward, we call it forward head posture, FHP, and then the loss of lordosis, which then creates the tension. Okay. So it's two phases. We have to get the head back over your shoulder. In order to bring the head back, I have to get your chest in. That's why I spend all my time working on your back. Uh -huh. We gotta get the chest, I can't, that make sense? I can't yep. get my head back. Why? Because this has to come in. You see, watch. Now I get my head back. Okay. Right? Yep. So we call this coupled motion in chiropractic. The head goes forward, the chest goes back. So we have to make 
the spine limber so that we can get your head back. Now, now you can have your ear over your shoulder, but there's military neck, yeah. right? That's incorrect also. Oh, we need to line up and an arch. Okay. So how do we know there's an arch in your neck? Your head's, your head's almost touching the ground. You're saying right now there's about there's some floating because your neck doesn't have the same length of the neck as mine. Now, if I put myself on this in a second, you'll see my neck bends over the device. Does that make sense? Yep. If your neck is wants to be straight, it doesn't conform to the mold. Okay. That is the loss of lordosis, which is like the Romans built arches to allow weight distribution. Okay. That makes sense? Yeah. So no one area is under too much tension. I can't push the curve in your neck. We adjust to make the spine limber. The more I work under the table and gua sha and clean, the more flexible your spine will be and the more we can press your neck into this mold. Like you're about here. Yep. Your neck doesn't <laughs> like my back of my head almost touches the ground. You yep. are floating about like this. Okay. Because your neck isn't flexible. When I do a bicep curl. Yep. See how there's tension? There's tension. There's yeah. tension in your neck. Yeah. Doing a bicep curl. No, no, I'm isolating my bicep. I'm just doing bicep curls. No, you're not. You're doing yeah. a spinal lock. Okay. Right? People don't connect that this. Because you have to lock your spine, otherwise this happens. Yeah. <laughs> so doing a bicep curl, doing bench pressing, doing rowing, tightens your neck, right? Because you wouldn't be able to do, you wouldn't be a very, running tightens your spine, because you don't run like Baywatch. Yeah, right, right. right. Everybody runs, yeah. <laughs> right? We run, this is, this is yeah. the way you run, Dr. Ed. This is very professional way to run, right? We don't be, yeah. you know, it's so you, <laughs> you're a better runner with a locked chest. Right, you're more efficient, you waste less energy, you don't look ridiculous. <laughs> but you're, you, so my, my point is that running encourages chest rigidity. It's the rigidity that's gonna cause mechanical imbalances. Okay. All right, so we'll talk more about the neck dead roll next time. I wanna see how you feel with just the soreness from being adjusted, okay. soreness from being massaged. Ed, got a little upset with you, I had a little migraine, you know, I get some ice salt on it. Yep. We try to not look down. Try to, when you're on your phone, when you're using your, on your call, Bluetooth, don't be okay. spending a lot of time with your body rounded forward. It's gonna yep. make the headaches come back. You need to start being, this is where lifestyle habit conversations we need to have. I need to start asking you, show me the position you sit in. Yeah. You understand? Show me, I need to, show me your environment and I need to start, Yeah. change that, change that, sit like this. I don't know the answers. I need to spend another half hour with you going mm -hmm. through those type of conversations, otherwise, and it felt great for a couple days and now it's back again. I'm sort of yeah. not happy. I'm doing the stretching, it helps, but it's about, it's like losing weight. You can't just exercise more. You gotta start cutting back on the things that are making the weight there. Right. So it's a it's integrating that. All right, so All right. we'll talk about that next time. Good deal, thank you, you so much. much. Really I appreciate, appreciate it. it, thank you.